Hey guys, Gas TV here with another Path of XL video where we're gonna craft the best Spectre or minion, most minions at least, large cluster jewel in the entire game. Normally, we, we usually go for jewels that looks like this. We want to go for Renewal and Vicious Bite with a high budget, with a suffix that we can use whatever we want on, and then we make sure that we get Rotten Claws to put this node in the in middle spot, which basically puts it in the middle spot here, and we get access to them here. Instead, we're going to be using 12 passive cluster jewels, which gives us a lot more damage and also more defense this way, but it costs you more points. The way we solve those points is basically by removing damage modifiers on the left-hand side of the tree, and we smack them into the large cluster. The mods we're looking for is obviously the Vicious Bite again, but we're looking for increased effect of nodes, the Tier 1 Energy Shield, and Tier 1 Increased Attack and Cast Speed for minions. This gives us a lot more Energy Shield, and it also gives us a lot more damage, because every node gives us 16 flat Energy Shield, as well as 13% increased minion damage and 4% increased attack and cast speed, making the builds insanely good. Now, in the community, we don't have that many people that are digging deep when it comes to min-maxing Spectre builds. And the person I talk a lot to when it comes to min-maxing and finding out the absolute uh, peak golden standards of what you can do with minion builds is actually Prevaline. And he's the person who brought this to my attention. And we tested it out in the Spectre builds. He's using it in his Bama builds. And we tested it out in the Spectre builds. And we are almost doubling the eff efficiency that we get from our jewels by using these ones. So how the hell do you craft them? It's very simple. There's an average craft cost of about four to 500 chaos to get the prefixes sorted, which is the most important part. The prefixes being tier one effective, increased effective passive skills, and the other one is tier one energy shield. The two ways you can do this is very simple. Scour and alk it till you hit it. The other way is alteration crafted and augment crafted till you hit tier one increased effective passive skills or tier one energy shield and then regal it. Rinse repeat till you have it. Once you have it, you need to clean the suffixes and there's a couple of ways of doing this. Since we have a defensive prefix and a non-tagged prefix mod on it, what we then do is we reforge key prefix till you can clean off the suffixes. And the way you clean them off is if you get an elemental one, you remove that with a harvest craft. If you get a caster one, you remove that with a cast attack, etc, etc, etc. After this, there are two different modifiers that can hit if you do an augment attack or augment cast, a caster mod to get the increased attack speed. There's two different ones. One is the one we want with three different tiers and the other one is a notable. Since the large clusters can only have one suffix notable, we will start by using the harvest craft augment critical strike modifier. This will guarantee that you get Vicious Bite, and by having a Vicious Bite, you can then Augment Attack or Augment Caster, and it will guarantee that you get the increased attack and cast speed per for these most small passives. And then whichever you choose, doesn't matter, and then you can do Remove it and Add, either Attack or Caster, because it has both tags, and you'll do any of those crafts till you get 3%. This allows us to choose the cheapest one, which is most likely the Attack version, uh, but it allows us to basically abuse that, and it's only 1 out of 3 chance to, to actually hit Tier 1. So it's very easy to craft. The only annoying part with it is hitting the prefixes, which is a, an average craft cost of five, 400 to 500 chaos. And this is the best kind of jewel that you can use on large cluster jewels for the Spectre builds and uh, quite a few other minion builds as well. Uh, when it comes to medium clusters, it's about the same thing. You go for Precise Commander and Vengeful Commander, but based on what I've seen, they are actually cheaper to purchase than to, um, than to craft themselves. The similar process when it comes to small cluster jewels, such as these, I am doing the lazy route, which is basically just picking up an, a small passive jewel, a cluster jewel with three passives and going for energy from not. I just bought them because I'm lazy, but it's the same process of crafting them where you get the increased effect and flat energy shield on prefixes, and then you can do whatever you want with the suffixes. Normally, we want to go for a rest roll and maybe even intelligence for even more energy shield, and at that point, you just reforge keeping prefixes till you hit that tier one intelligence, and then you just use the uh, an elemental craft for the last resistance role when it comes to perfecting your small classes, which I do not have on this character right now. That's it. That's, that's how you craft it. It's very straightforward. It's very easy. Doesn't cost too much currency. And uh, these jewels are absolutely crazy for specifically Spectre builds because you can get to the point where these, these jewels gives you more than twice the efficiency in pure offense compared to the previous best jewel that we've been using. And um, it doesn't matter how much they nerf the renewal. It really doesn't. Because of nerfs to the cluster jewels, we are already decided to only use two notables, one being Vicious Bite, the other Renewal, as you can see in the previous jewel I've been using. 
Uh, we only put in Rotten Claws to put that on the end so we didn't have to spend too many points getting to it. Uh, but because of these things, it's turned into a point where a jewel like this is actually vastly superior uh, for the sake of efficiency for these type of builds. That's all I have to do. It's so, so easy to, to craft it. Uh, keep in mind that we're looking at item level 84 or higher to get the, the tier 1 modifiers. And it has to be 12 passives to get as many passives as possible to get these... Um, uh, these approaches. Obviously, you can skip the 3% decrease of tank caps, but you can do whatever you want there if you want to change it. It's up to you, but this is what I would say would be the most optimal ones for offense, and you get the extra energy shield on top of this. That's it. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe for more content, and until next time, boys, stay safe. Keep rocking.